Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at the fire protection system that is installed in an aircraft's engine, the APU, cargo compartments, cabin and the avionics compartment. In an aircraft, a fire may occur in flight because of some faults in critical systems on the aircraft. It could also occur post-crash if an oil or a fuel line gets ruptured and ignited during the crash. In case of a fire which occurred post-crash, the fire protection system on the aircraft will not be helpful. But in case the fire occurred in flight, the fire protection system can assist in extinguishing the fire and help in landing the aircraft safely. An in-flight fire may occur in the engines or the APU, the cabin, the cargo compartment or the avionics compartment. First, let's see what can cause an engine fire, which is one of the most crucial components of the aircraft. An engine fire may occur because of a leak from the fuel line causing the fuel to spill into the engine. It could also be because of an oil leak into the engine. An engine stall may also lead to a fire because the fuel air ratio gets affected and more fuel enters the combustion chamber. High engine vibrations may also result in a fire as it may cause a rupture in the fuel or the oil supply lines. How to identify an engine fire? In case of an engine fire, flames or smoke will be visible from the cabin. The engine will have fire detectors installed on it which will trigger oral and visual alerts in the cockpit so that the crew take corrective action immediately with the help of the fire protection system. So let's see how to control an engine fire with the fire protection system. Usually there are two fire extinguisher bottles that are installed to control an engine fire. In case of an engine fire, the first step that needs to be done is shut down the engine. The crew then needs to wait for the engine's shaft speed to reduce and then discharge the agent from one of the fire extinguishers. These extinguishers will have electrically activated squibs that allow the agent to be discharged into the engine. This extinguisher should be able to control the fire. But if the fire was not extinguished, then the second extinguisher should be discharged into that engine after some time. This engine will be no longer available for the remainder of the flight. Let's see what happens in case of a APU fire. In case of fire in the APU, it will not be visible from the cabin. There are alerts which trigger in the cockpit for the crew to take action. The crew needs to shut down the APU, then discharge the extinguishing agent after a few seconds. Normally, only one fire extinguisher bottle will be installed to control an APU fire. Now let's see how to handle a fire in the cargo compartments. Usually, an aircraft will have two cargo compartments. In case of a fire in these compartments, alerts are triggered in the cockpit. The fire will also result in smoke inside the cabin. The alerts are triggered by smoke detectors that are installed in the cargo compartments. Usually, one or two separate fire extinguisher bottles are available that discharge the extinguishing agent through nozzles that are fitted in the cargo compartment.
Smoke in an aircraft cabin may also be because of a fire inside the aircraft cabin. So let's see how to handle a fire inside the aircraft cabin. In case of a fire inside the cabin, no alerts will be triggered in the cockpit. The cockpit crew should be informed by the cabin crew about the fire in the cabin. The crew will have portable fire extinguishers that will be used to suppress the fire. Usually, the cabins are designed to provide passive fire protection. This means that fire retardant materials will be used inside the cabin to prevent the spread of fire. Now we will look at how to handle a fire in the avionics bay. This fire may occur because of a short circuit in any of the installed computers or wires. Smoke detectors in the avionics bay detect the smoke and trigger alerts in the cockpit. In the avionics bay, there are no fire extinguishers as they may cause more harm to all the computers and wires. Now the crew has to shed the electrical load on the aircraft and ensure that only the essential users are supplied and land as soon as possible. So that's all for my video on the fire protection system. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.